so I definitely got the mask on my eyebrows, which you're really not supposed to do. So this should be interesting. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Right now I'm actually sitting on my bathroom counter So that's like what's going on right here with the whole reflection thing But basically today I have a very exciting video for you guys. This is actually probably my most requested video I'll finally be doing the long-awaited skincare routine So a lot of you guys have actually been asking me to do this video for a while because if you guys didn't know my skin used to be like really fugly So what happened was basically I was vegetarian for like four years and then a couple years ago Actually, I honestly don't really remember when. But basically, I eventually started to kind of eat meat again, and then when I started to eat meat again, my skin absolutely broke out and it was awful. I tried a bunch of things and it wouldn't work. But eventually, I finally got my skin to clear up, and a lot of you guys have actually noticed and have been asking me to do this video. So here I am sharing my skincare routine with you guys. So before I get into the skincare routine, I just wanted to say if this is your first time watching one of my videos, hi, my name is Alyssa. I upload new videos every single week on Saturdays, so be sure to click that subscribe button for weekly content. You can also follow me me on all of my social medias which are linked in the description box down below i'm always posting on instagram twitter snapchat all that good stuff that was a lot okay let's get into it also quick disclaimer i know my eyelash extensions like all fell out but i'm going to get them done tomorrow so don't worry nobody was probably worrying but in case you were I got you. So right now it's nighttime obviously, so I'm gonna do my nighttime skin routine, but it's basically the same as my morning one, but with like more things, if that makes sense. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just tie my hair back. I just have this scrunchie. I chose blue because it kind of matches, you know. So I usually just put it in a low pony like this, but it kind of makes me look like a president. After I put my hair up, I just put on this little head wrap thing that Curology sent to me. It's super cute, it's purple. Okay, so now that my hair is out of my face, and I look absolutely ridiculous. I look like bald okay anyways now it's time to start the skincare routine so the first thing i do is take off my makeup these are my favorite makeup wipes let me get it to focus these are the makeup wipes i use these are the yes to tomatoes clear skin detoxifying charcoal facial wipes basically they're just these like black makeup wipes and i love them a lot so yeah i just use these to take off my makeup it's pretty self-explanatory oh i totally just poked myself in the eye i've been hooked on these makeup wipes for a while now i don't really know they just kind of give it like a really like clean feeling and i don't know if it's just me but so some makeup wipes like kind of sting my face but these are really gentle and I love them okay so now that my makeup's off this is what I'm looking like um my skin's not at its best right now because I'm on my period I kind of have some scarring and I always have redness especially because I just took off all my makeup but I don't have like any bums so the next step in my skincare routine is washing my face this is the face wash I use this is the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser so basically what I do is I just wet my face and then I do like two pumps of this and then I just kind of work it into my face and this cleanser is actually like makeup melting so it really does a good job at like getting off all the makeup that I miss and since this cleanser is a lot more on the gentle side I just like to go in with my Clarisonic and I just feel like I kind of like washing my face more if this makes sense because like I said the Glossier cleanser is like really light and this kind of helps me feel like I'm washing my face like more thoroughly Okay, so now that my face is washed, I'm actually going to exfoliate, which I don't do every day. So let me kind of explain to you guys like my little routine because I have kind of like a rotation of things that I do. So obviously every day I take off my makeup and I wash my face, but then I kind of rotate between exfoliating, using a serum, and doing a face mask. So basically I won't do all of those things every day. I know nobody really cares, but I'm going to kind of tell you guys how I rotate between what ones I do on each day. So on Sundays and Wednesdays, I exfoliate, which I'm going to do right now and then on Mondays Thursdays and Saturdays I use a serum and on Tuesdays and Fridays I do a face mask I know it's kind of a lot but you're not supposed to do all of those things every day so that's kind of like the rotation that works for me however for the sake of this video I'm gonna do all of them tonight which I usually don't do so this should be interesting so when I exfoliate I do that right after I wash my face this is a scrub that I use this is the clean and clear blackhead eraser scrub I really like this one because it has a little like exfoliating beads and then it also has solicit acid in it which really helps with acne so i just kind of work this into my face especially around my nose because that's where i have the most blackhead and this scrub just feels really good because the bees are like a little face massage and it feels amazing so the instructions say to massage it all over your face for 20 to 30 seconds and then after that i just rinse it and dry my face 
Okay, so now that I exfoliated, it is time to do a face mask. This is a face mask I use. It looks like really crusty because I got it like all over the bottle, but we're just gonna ignore that. This is the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay, and apparently it's the world's most powerful facial. So as you can probably tell by the way that the container looks, this mask is literally such a hassle and it's pretty messy, but it is honestly so good for your skin. So this is what it looks like inside. Basically, it's a powder and then you mix it with water to like activate it. And you can also use apple cider vinegar but I don't have that so I just use water. So I have this little tiny glass bowl from Target and then also like this little like face mask spatula thing and that's what I used to like mix it. So I'm really bad at making this face mask so I kind of just keep making it and like mixing the water and the powder until I get the perfect consistency. So we're just going to kind of mix it up and see what happens. I'm probably going to have to add more powder. Oh I just made a mess. What's new? So it kind of takes a lot of trial and error to kind of make this. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's like a correct way to do it, and this definitely isn't it. Okay guys, so as you can tell, uh, the mask is on. I definitely gave up on the little spatula thing because it was kind of hard to like mix it. So I'm going to wash my hands real quick. So the instructions say you're supposed to leave it on for 5 to 10 minutes if you have delicate skin and 15 to 20 for normal skin. But I kind of have combination skin, so I usually do like about 15 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to set a timer and start cleaning up this mess that I made, and I will see you guys in 15 minutes. A few moments later. Okay, it's only been a few minutes, but I'm going to take this off because, first of all, I got face mask on it, and I don't want to, like, ruin it, and I also want to take mirror selfies. Okay, guys, so it's been 15 minutes. It's kind of hard for me to talk because the mask is, like, drying up on my face. I don't know if you guys can see. Okay, it's kind of starting to hurt, so I'm going to wash it off now. So now that the face mask is off, it is time for toner. This is the toner I use. It is Rose Petal Witch Hazel. This is like the best stuff you've probably seen it everywhere. This is honestly probably my favorite part about my skincare routine. Basically what I do is I just take a little cotton pad and then I pour it on there and then I just use it on my face. I love this toner because it just leaves a really like fresh clean feeling and it's the best. So after I put on my toner, I do the serum. This is the serum I use. This is the Pixie Overnight Glow Serum. It says massage two or three drops onto cleanse toned skin before moisturizer. Basically what the serum does is it just leaves like a really nice glow. It doesn't really help with like acne or anything I don't think, but it really helps like with my complexion overall. So like I said, after the serum is moisturizer. This is the moisturizer I have been loving lately. This is the Drunk Elephant Polypeptide Cream. Guys, this is literally the coolest thing ever. So I'm going to keep it in focus to show you guys. So this is what the lid looks like and then you like press on it and that's how the moisturizer comes out. This is a really good moisturizer but the packaging is probably like my favorite thing about it. So I just kind of put on my moisturizer like that and then put it on my face and my neck. Okay so after I put on my moisturizer I put on my Curology. I've talked about Curology on my channel before. If you don't know what Curology is basically it's a custom made prescription formula just for you. So all you have to do is go onto the website, do a little skin quiz, and send in some selfies of your skin, and they will literally make a formula just for you, and just for your skin, just for your acne, and literally, guys, I cannot stress this enough, it works. I used to see the Curology ads on Instagram all the time, and I like didn't know if it would work, and I was kind of skeptical about it, but now... I'm on the Curology ads. But really though guys, Curology worked and I'm so happy that they reached out to me because it honestly has been life changing. If I'm going to recommend anything for my skincare routine, it would definitely be this. If you want to, you can go ahead and use my link. I'll put it on the screen right now and also in the description. It is Curola dot gy slash Alyssa gomez or something like that i don't know i'm just gonna put it on the screen because i don't really know but if you use my link you can get your first bottle for free and then all you have to do is pay for shipping and handling so this is what my bottle looks like it just has my name on it which is super cute and then it has the ingredients and then i usually do like one to two pumps of this and then just put it on my face i honestly don't think i would have been able to clear my skin without curology so i highly recommend that you guys try it honestly it is so worth it like just try it and trust me it has literally been life changing. Okay guys, we are on to the very last step of my skincare routine. I just go in with this Mario Badescu drying lotion. If you have me on social media, I have this pink stuff on my face all the time. This is what it is. So basically what I do is I just take a little Q-tip and then I just kind of apply it onto my face. But basically you just put the formula on any of your acne and it like dries it out and it is amazing. Okay guys, so that is it for my skincare routine. Really quickly before I end this video, I just kind of wanted to show you guys two of my shower products. 
I kind of used to have body acne, so these products are the best. This is a shower gel and a body scrub. I'm kind of running out with both of them, which is kind of awkward. This is the Neutrogena Body Clear Body Wash, and this is the Body Clear Body Scrub. So basically, I think they both have salicylic acid in it, but honestly, like these are really good if you have body acne. Just use it like as your normal everyday body wash. And then if you want to exfoliate, this is really good too. Also, I forgot to mention, if you have body acne, you can totally put your Curology on your body acne too, and it works. Okay, guys, so that is it for my skincare routine. Sorry it took so long for me to do it. I kind of just wanted to like get my routine down and find a really good one before I shared it with you guys. Also, a quick disclaimer, this is just my personal skincare routine and what works for me. It might not work for you, but hopefully it does. If you want to try some of the products, let me know and I hope I can help you guys. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Like I said before, be sure to click that subscribe button for new videos every single week. You can also give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, follow me on all my social medias. And yeah, I will see you guys next week with a new Alyssa Saturday video. Bye!